Amazing who you meet. They look happy enough, strolling through a sleeping English village, and oddly enough, they aren't strangers in these parts. They live here at the Pestalozzi children's village, tucked away in the Sussex hills. Yes, we're still in Sussex, but thousands of miles can't separate the affection these Tibetan people have for their ancient way of life. An ancient religion has survived in a modern world. In Tibet, these refugee children would spend over three hours a day in prayer, but here it must be shortened to fit the schooling. During their stay, they will remember the Dalai Lama's wishes to train as doctors, nurses, missionaries and teachers. Each and every one of them has known the stark uncertainty of some refugee camp. But surely there must be hidden mischief behind these faces. What's this? Yakety yak on a blackboard? Almost, it's a Tibetan history lesson. Here's one little chap who's also having difficulty. No matter where you are, there's always someone who doesn't pay attention. The English countryside echoes to the sound of a Polish polka. There are many nationalities among the 65 children at Pestalozzi, and they're all encouraged to keep their traditions and customs alive. It was only five years ago that the first five displaced children came here. Now there are 65. Soon there will be 300, sharing the school, the church, and learning to find a new rhythm in a world far removed from their refugee camps. This music may sound strange to Tibetan ears, but the message of happiness rings clear. It's strange what you find and who you meet in quiet old England, especially here, the village where east is east and west is west, and both of them meet.